Hi everyone, I'm Alan with The Rabbit Show. Today we're talking about disqualifications and getting your single fryer or meat pan ready for your fare. Before we get started, the number one tool to figure out exactly what disqualifications are and what your animal should look like are outlined in this book called the ARBA Standard of Perfection. And you get that from the ARBA. In here are definitions and uh, key terminology vocabulary that have to do with exactly what's allowed and what's not allowed when you get ready for your uh, next fair or your competition with your rabbits. Let's talk about some basic things. Disqualifications from competitions are standard throughout all breeds of rabbits, all 49, even these meat rabbits. Most disqualifications that are general have to do with health. That's whether the eyes are bright and have no disease, such as conjunctivitis, looking in the eyes to make sure there aren't any spots, okay? Probably the biggest health DQ has to do with what happens on the rabbit from this side, the underneath, and that primarily has to do with teeth. Teeth that overlap, like our teeth do, top teeth over the bottom teeth, are correct teeth. Teeth that meet head on, or where the bottom teeth actually extend forward of the top teeth, called malocclusion, are very, very important disqualifications. You at home getting ready for your meat pen or single fryer competition means checking for these kinds of things throughout the course of the growth period as well as up to the minutes that uh, you have right before leaving for the fair. So checking teeth while you're up here, look on the nose. You want a clean nose. When you're not feeling good, what happens? You got a snuffly nose, you got um, mucus coming out of your nose. Bad, bad in rabbits as well. So if you've got something that's uh, not feeling good, it's not gonna eat well, it's not gonna feel well, it's not gonna grow well. So keeping a healthy rabbit that can eat and breathe right will ensure a healthier meat pen and a more winning meat pen for you or a single fryer as your competition uh, rolls into town. A lot of uh, uh, 4-H and FFA kids and ARB members use Californians or New Zealands in their meat pens. Uh, a white New Zealand's easy in this regard when we look at toenails, but in Californians, they need to have the same color toenails that have pigment. Pigment means color other than white. So these toenails are all the same color, including the dew claw. That's uh, equivalent to our thumb. On these smaller fryer rabbits, uh, you gotta do a little digging into the fur to get down there and actually see the nail and the color, but it's important to be meticulous. That's being very cautious and checking to make sure that you got four toenails plus a dew claw, that they're all the same color, and that they're all uh, have pigment, right? That's uh, on the front feet. And then on the back feet, they only have four nails. That's the, the foot without the dew claw, also called the hawk. So we've got four. They're there. They're the same color, okay? Um, sex is not important in terms of uh, meat pen health, except that the the vent area needs to be clean. You don't want a rabbit that goes into the, the fair with um, with manure stuck to the to the back end where it's you know probably been run down and, and not healthy, maybe had a, a round of coccidia. So a clean back end means a healthier rabbit and one that's probably gonna feel better and also eat better. One last thing you can do is run your hands over the rabbit looking for scabs, any kind of injuries. If your rabbits were living together, uh, during some period of time, they may have been fighting. Hopefully at this point, closer to the fair, they're living in their own cages and they're not fighting, but it's still a good idea to run your hands over and look for problems and feel problems. A good, healthy, flesh rabbit will be smooth to the touch without scabs. Now we talked about color in these rabbits. Californians, like this rabbit right here, need to have color on their ears, on their nose, and underneath, on their feet and legs, and also on their tail. There's a couple little issues that roll into Californians when it comes to their color, however. You can see that the color on this tail is not only dark on top, but it's also dark underneath. One problem that uh, we see more often in Californians is something called martinization, or Californians carrying a tan pattern color disqualification. This is also a Californian, also a little older, but the bottom of the tail does not match the top of the tail. The top of the tail is correct in color, it's dark, but the bottom part of the tail is clearly white, and that's a disqualification called martinization. It's also evident up here in the nostrils, where you have silvering 
or lacing along the top part of the nostril. And sometimes harder to see is ear lacing. Harder to see because if the color on the ears isn't dark to begin with, the white silvering along the lace or the, the extreme ends of the ear won't be as evident. But contrast that ear with the ear on this California, which is correct, and you can actually see the difference. There's white ear lacing on this ear, where this ear has color throughout. To contrast, flip this one over again. No nose or silvering on the inside of the, of the nostrils, and the tail is dark. Take one more quick look over here. Silvering on the nose, and white under the tail. Martinization. Some 4-H and FFA kids like to use New Zealand's, of course. They're also a muscular meat rabbit. New Zealand's come in several colors, including white, black, blue, and now broken, as well as red. A broken New Zealand, that's a white New Zealand in combination with color, is allowable. But if you're using broken, you've got to have all broken of one variety. So for example, they need to be either all three broken black, broken blue, or broken red. So uh, don't have to worry about that in Californians, but you do have to worry about it in any rabbit breed that uh, recognizes broken, like New Zealand's or satins, for example. So those are the basic DQs. Of course, there's lots more, but those general DQs have to do with health and vigor. If your rabbit's not feeling good, if your rabbit can't eat because it has um, problems with its alignment of mouth, it's not gonna grow right. If it's not gonna grow right, it's not gonna win. And it's not gonna win, it's not gonna make a successful project for you, whether it be 4-H, FFA, or an ARBA.